Okay, after that process, we can turn to 3D process. I'm gonna click on right mouse button, add meaning operations. I'm gonna use 3D high speed surface roughing machining process. After that process, I need to select my type. This is my roughing time, so I can click on control roughing. That's options, it's quite important. You need to select your roughing type according to your product. I'm gonna click on that one. This is my target, it's selected automatically. This is my make and position one. It means that I'm gonna use that working coordinate system. After that, I can turn to tool section with select button. I can create new one. I'm gonna push the add meaning tool. I'm gonna click on that one because my intention to create 10 millimeter with two millimeter corner radius tool. Of course, my number of fluids can be four. When I turn to tool data, I can select on that one. So after that, I can easily select my feed rate according to my teeth. This is my cutting speed. According to that values, spindle speed and my feed rate calculated automatically. This is my constant boundaries. I can click on create manually, user defined boundary. I can click on that part to select my boundary. This is my boundary. So I can click that, that can be external. This is my passes process. I can organize my Z limit. My Z limit can be that point. This is minus 78 millimeter. So this is my wall offset. I can write here 0.2. This is my floor offset. It can be same. This is my tolerance and this is my step down process. I'm gonna write five millimeter. After that calculation, I can turn to my step down process and make them one millimeter maybe. I can calculate it. So this is my contour roughing process. Yes, it is calculated automatically. I think five millimeter is enough for us. Or we can turn to our process and change our tool. I'm gonna double click on it, create new tool. Pushing that button, I can click on that part. It can be 20 millimeter, five millimeter radius. So according to that tool, I just need to recalculate it. And my tool path, I'm gonna recalculate it like this. Okay, everything seems fine. 